Hey everyone, welcome back to Quicklearn Engineering. Today we are diving into the heart of OpenStack's compute service, Nova. If you're curious about how cloud platforms like AWS EC2 work in private environments, Nova is the answer. So let's understand its architecture with a neat diagram and simple explanation. Nova is the compute component of OpenStack. It's responsible for creating, managing and deleting virtual machines just like AWS EC2 but designed for private clouds. Let's break down Nova's architecture into its key components. Nova core components. API the main entry point. It handles all incoming HTTP requests from users or services. Schedule. Picks the best compute host to run a new virtual machine. Compute interacts directly with hypervisors to launch and manage VMs. Conductor handles complex coordination tasks and acts as a secure proxy to the database. Database stores data about VMs, users, hosts and system state. NOAA's integration with other OpenStack services works with Keystone for user authentication, uses Glance to retrieve disk images for VM instances, communicates with Neutron to set up networking, connects to Cinder to attach block storage volumes, hypervisor support, host Nova supports several virtualization technologies like KVM, Xen, VMware and Hyper-V. It also supports bare metal servers and has limited support for containers like Docker. Technology stack, Host Nova is written in Python and uses Eventlet for concurrent networking, SQL Alchemy for database operations. Horizontal Scalability Host Nova is built to scale horizontally. That means it distributes tasks across multiple servers, avoiding dependency on a single machine. How users access Nova? Horizon, the graphical dashboard, command line interface CLI for developers and administrators. Nova Client, a Python tool for API-based automation and scripting. Use cases of Nova, creating and managing virtual machines, running workloads on bare metal servers, offering basic support for system containers. To summarize Nova's architecture, the API handles requests, scheduler assigns compute resources, compute manages the VMs, Conductor acts as the logic bridge and everything is backed by a shared SQL database. If you found this helpful, like the video and subscribe to Quick Learn Engineering. We break down complex tech into clear quick lessons. Thanks for watching and see you.